Hi gang, in this video we are going to do two different types of lacing. It looks really complicated, but I promise I'll simplify it for you. Before we get started, I'd really appreciate a like to keep this channel going. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Let's get started. Here are a few different lacing styles to take a look at. We're going to start with this one on the left. And in order to do it, you're going to need to use some of the components we made in the drawstring video. So if you haven't already watched that one, please go back and watch that one first. I'll leave a link down in the description. You're going to need it to make these little noodles and your eyelets. We are going to draw a rectangle to start so we have something to add our lacing to. And I'm just going to draw a little rectangle here on one side. And let's hit D for default. I'm going to reflect it to the other side so that our spacing is consistent. So we'll select it, click O to reflect, Alt or Option click on the guideline, select vertical and copy. And now we've got our fabric that we're going to add our lacing to. The next thing we need is one of the eyelets we created in that drawstring video. So I'm going to grab an eyelet, drag it out, place it on top where I want my first eyelet to sit, and then I'm just going to Alt or Option drag, holding the Shift key to the placement of my next eyelet, and then we'll duplicate that, which is Control or Command D. And you can duplicate that as many times as you need to get to the bottom. We're going to take all of those pieces and group them together. So I'm just marquee selecting them, but I don't want this piece of fabric. So I'm going to hold my shift key, click on that fabric to release it from the section. And now I'm going to group this together, control or command G. And now we'll reflect it to the other side. O to reflect, alt or option click on the guide, vertical, copy. And now we've got our eyelets in place and we can go ahead and add the drawstrings. With the pen tool, we're going to draw a line that goes from the left eyelet across to the right eyelet. And we're going to open up our graphic styles and use the ones that we created in the drawstring video. We're going to make this a two-point noodle. And now we need one going in the other direction. So you'll hit enter to release that path. And we're going to draw one that goes in this direction and also make it a two-point noodle. So those are our first pieces. We also need a string that goes behind this, which is where um, this would have started. So we're going to grab the pen tool and we're just going to click right here, hold the shift key and click on the other side of this. We're going to make that another two point noodle. And then we're going to right click, arrange, send to back so that this goes behind the fabric. And now we can select our little X shape here and we're going to duplicate it. So you're going to hold shift and alt or shift and option and we're going to drag it to the next location. And then we can command D or control D to duplicate that and one more time. So that takes care of the front X's, but we also need back X's. So we're going to grab this X one more time. We're going to hold our shift and alt or shift and option. And this time we're only going to drag it down one, whoops, grab them both, one eyelet. Why are you being difficult? Select both. Select this shift and alt. There we go. We're going to drag it down one eyelet. And then we're going to right click, arrange, send to back. And now we can take this one and do it again. We're going to drag it down to that next eyelet so it sits behind. And then we can control or command D again to get it behind this one. And now we've got our lacing going in and out, in and out. And we just need to tie our bow. Now, in the way I've drawn this now, the bow is going to sit behind this. But if I had done one fewer eyelet, then the bow would sit on top. And you can do it in either direction. Um, you know what? Let's do it so it's sitting on top. I'm going to delete one row. And in order to do that, I'm going to grab my group selection tool because my eyelets are grouped, which is the little white arrow with the plus sign. I'm going to click on one eyelet on the left and delete it, one on the right and delete it. And I'm also going to delete my X here. What we're going to do is grab the pen tool and we're going to draw a new line that goes from one side to the other. 
again, we are going to use our two point noodle and then we can go back to our our symbols where we saved our little drawstring bows. We're going to drag one of those out, move it right into place. And now you've got lacing. Now you can save this as a symbol if you like, and then manipulate it on another garment or just set it up whenever you need it. Now the next version is going to be a little bit more elaborate. I have got a corset here and we are going to add a lacing to this. And this time the lacing is going to go sort of over under and it looks very elaborate, but it's really not that difficult to create. So let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to start with an eyelet again and put it where I want it for my first eyelet. And then I'm going to shift and alt or shift and option drag to the next position and then duplicate control or command D till I get down to the bottom of my corset. I will then select all of those pieces and then again, hold my shift key to release the rest of the corset because I only want the eyelets. Right click group, which you cannot do when you're dealing with symbols. I always forget that. So we'll try that again. We'll select everything, hold the shift key, release the corset and control or command G in order to group. For some reason, Adobe does not give you the option to group when you've selected a bunch of symbols. I don't know why that is and I find it frustrating. All right, we're gonna take these eyelets and reflect them to the other side. So O to reflect, Alt or Option click on the center guide, vertical and copy. Now we have our eyelets in place and now we can start to create our lacing. For the first piece of lace at the top, we're gonna do the one behind. So we're gonna go from one eyelet to the next eyelet. We're gonna make sure there's no fill. We're gonna go to our stroke panel and we're gonna raise the stroke until it's the size that I think the lacing should be. This looks good to me. So I'm gonna go up to object, path, outline stroke. And now instead of being a stroke, I've turned this into a shape. I'm gonna hit D for default, but I'm going to change the stroke weight on this down to 0.5, which is a better proportion. And then right click, arrange, and send to back. So similar to how we started the first one, only I need this to go all the way to the back. Oh, because we're in a different layer and send to back only works within the layer you're in. So you can see I'm in noodle lacing layer, but my corset is in the layer below. So let's move this to the corset layer. Let's also select the eyelets and move them to that layer. We'll grab that and move it into my corset layer. I'm just gonna turn off this noodle layer so we don't accidentally use it. And we are going to now work in the corset layer. Let's try it again. We'll select the ribbon, right click, arrange, send to back. And since we're in the same layer now, we've got what we want. Now let's start with the fancy stuff. We are going to do basically the same steps again. I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm gonna draw a path that goes from this one to this lower right one here to get our little crisscross. We're gonna to go to the stroke palette and we're gonna increase the stroke weight to match what we did on the other one. Three, four, is that what I did? It looks like I did four. We're gonna make sure that the caps this time are flat. We wanna remove the fill and once again, we can go object, path, outline stroke. And we'll hit default and then change this to 0.5 so we've got a matching weight. Now we need to cut this so it appears as if it's going underneath this piece of fabric. To do that, we're gonna draw a line with the pen tool that is right over here at the edge of this line. We will make sure that line has no fill with the black arrow, we select that line and this little rectangle we've got going on here. We'll go up to Pathfinder, select Divide, right click, Ungroup, and then we can delete this little piece that's sticking out. And we've got our first little ribbon piece. Now, it doesn't look very pretty, so let's go up here and make it look like it's actually coming out of the eyelet. 
the first thing I like to do is add a couple of anchor points. So with my little my plus sign, which is the shortcut key for it, I'm going to add an anchor point about here and here, just so when I move things in, it won't make the entire piece thinner. Then with my white arrow, I'm gonna select the two top corner anchor points. Whoops, let's do that again. The two top corner anchor points, I'm holding my shift key to select both of them. S for scale, and then I'm just gonna click and drag to narrow that top a little bit so it looks like it's coming from inside of the eyelet. Another thing that happens when a ribbon comes through an eyelet is it curves a little bit to take the shape of the eyelet. So with the Convert Anchor Point tool, shortcut is Shift-C for that, we're gonna give this a curve so it looks like it's kind of coming through that eyelet hole. And it doesn't have to be a smooth curve, so you can actually play with this a little bit if you like and kind of add a few wrinkles to it. Uh, in order to do that, you're gonna add a couple of additional anchor points and just sort of nudge them up and down a little bit with the white arrow to kind of play with that look. So if you wanna mess with that a little bit, it just kind of helps with the look a bit. And if you want these to look like kind of fatter ribbons, you can also grab the anchor point tool and widen the center just a tiny little bit. So it helps with that illusion that they're narrowing as they go into these pieces. One last thing we want to do is add a few little gathers in here. So again, with the pen tool, I am going to, well, first I want to release this selection. Let's just go up here so I'm not clicking on anything. With the pen tool, we're going to make a couple of little gathers in here. So sometimes I'll make a little loop and we'll make that 0.25. We don't want to fill on these, and I'm going to change the profile to something like this. I'll hit enter, and then maybe I'll do another one that is a little more of this sort of thing. And again, we want that to be 0.25, so it's nice and delicate. I like round caps and corners, and again, we are going to add the profile, and that just gives it a little bit more interest. So now that that is done, we're gonna select those two pieces along with our piece of ribbon, group it together. So right click group or control or command G group. And now we can reflect this to the other side. So we're gonna select it, click O to reflect, alt or option click on that guideline, vertical and copy. And now we've got the other side and we can just duplicate these all the way down like we did with the other. So with the black arrow, I'm gonna select both ribbon pieces. We're gonna shift and alt or shift and option, drag it to the next spot, and then we can duplicate, control or command D. Now, sometimes I don't always hit the exact spot with that. As you can see, I'm a little bit off. So we'll just grab this one and use our nudge keys, which are the arrow keys on your keyboard, to go ahead and nudge these into place a little bit better if we are just a little bit off our mark. So no big deal, easy fix. And now I'm going to select this again and go ahead and continue moving them down to the bottom. So we'll select both pieces. We will hold our Alt and Shift or Option Shift, drag this down to that location, and then we can try duplicating again, Control or Command D down to the bottom. Now I'm skipping one because we're gonna tie our bow at the very bottom, so I am stopping here. And now we can go ahead and add our bow. Once again, we can grab from our symbols that we've made. I'm gonna grab a bow that I can use and that one is kind of on a different eyelet, so maybe we won't use that one. Why don't we grab a piece that I made, which is the same sort of piece wrapped around the eyelet that I can use in places where I wanna tie a bow and I need it to narrow in the center. And that's just a handy thing to have because you can always shorten or lengthen it as needed. And let's see, let's just grab a plain bow. That should work although I can see it's much too big for this. So we're gonna scale that down. And I'm just gonna hold my shift key and go ahead and scale it. 
till it is the same width approximately as the rest of the ribbon here. That looks pretty good. We'll tie it in place. And now I've got my corset all laced up and ready to go. I hope you learned something new today. If so, please give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.